A wine always tells a story. This is something that many winters say with conviction. However, Makasiva and Tukwini Mandela brought along some bottles to their ProWine debut, which, as their last name would lead you to assume, are filled with a particularly exciting content. We want to make sure that whatever people um, consume in these wines, they're consuming the House of Mandela story as well. But we also want them to enjoy the wines too, and to let, to let them know that it's wines that we enjoy. Um, because obviously we wouldn't sell anything. That My dad and other colleagues in jail, it is fighting for the ideal of uniting a race, of uniting a people, of giving hope to people of a different, of, a, of different cultures and different race and different origins. From South Africa all the way over to Bolivia, which is only a few feet away at the Provine. But when it comes to the level of awareness for these products, they are worlds apart. And the wine from Bolivia is also something very special due to the cultivation altitude, among other things. And that tr translates into, into very elegant wines. Uh, wines that are very drinkable, wines that uh, can age, uh, wines that have alcohols between 12.3, 13.3 and, and, and have a, a soft tannins. Something very new comes from Austria. Cerevinum, cereal malts, natural hops and zweigelt grape juice are fermented together. The after ripening with a French champagne yeast rounds off the taste. It's neither nor. It never was beer and it never was wine. And now it isn't either. Actually, it is a new drink and I always say, it is just Cerevinum. And last but not least, we have a coffee wine cocktail. A lighter roasted espresso with a slice of apple, infused with a semi-dry sparkling wine. You just have to give it a try.